Yes, a healthy masculine man can handle your frequency. He wants you in your power. He doesn't want you sacrificing. He doesn't want you compromising and he doesn't want you settling or playing small. He wants to give you what will make you happy. Like really, really happy. Not just a little happy. Not the dress on sale because the new season dress is over the top expensive. Not let's compromise on the vacation you really want to take because I don't feel like driving that far. Not if you only didn't desire so much, our relationship would work out. Red flag. No. A healthy masculine man can and will give you everything. So then what does that require of you in return? Nothing in the way most women think. You don't have to cook or clean the house, have sex with him whenever he asks or take care of his grandma. Although if you wanted to, why not? Winking face. You just need to receive. And if you're genuinely receiving, then you will naturally appreciate. And if you're genuinely appreciating, you will feel grateful. And if you're feeling grateful, you will glow. And if you glow, you will be in your feminine radiance. That feminine radiance, that receptivity and softness, is what nourishes you and him. There is an energy flow and energy exchange in a healthy thriving relationship that nourishes both partners and ignites and sustains the fire forever. And that flow is generated with the masculine. It flows to the feminine. The feminine receives his gifts. Then she reciprocates and the energy flows back to the masculine. But here's the key, nerd face. You simply receiving is the first step. If you go to reciprocating without receiving, you will not be able to sustain the energy flow of sacred union. It will deplete you and exhaust you. This is what the mainstream teaches us women. That we have to work hard for love. Don't buy into it. The thing you reciprocate with, doesn't have to be a lot. It also doesn't have to be equal in value, that's called compensation. In fact, please don't make it equal. Also don't make it more because then that would put you in the generating or masculine energy and force him into the receiving or feminine energy and that energy flow configuration won't feel nourishing or sustainable to either of you, if you're a feminine woman and he's a masculine man. So it doesn't have to be reciprocated. It just has to be received. That's the gift you give him. And if you decide to reciprocate in some way after you've received his gift, let it be genuine. Here's an example. Let's say you're dating a new man and he's taking you out on several dates and paid every time. To avoid awkwardness in the beginning, you can always say, do you need any help with that, when the bill comes? If he's a healthy masculine man he will say no. He's not going to do 50-50. Masculine men want to be providers. But now that it's been a few dates and you've been graciously receiving his gifts, you feel a welling up of appreciation and desire in your heart to honor him in some way. So here's an idea, bake him cookies and give them to him on your next date, growing heart. He will feel cared for and appreciated and an act of reciprocation such as this will touch him deeply in his masculine heart and inspire him to want to provide even more of the things that really make you happy. This is what I mean by receiving and then reciprocating. Let me know if you have any questions. So often I am trying to describe these energetic principles in words and I often wonder if it comes out in the written word the way I understand it in my head, lol. I'd love to know if this post made sense for you, so take a moment to let me know in the comments. And as always, if you'd like my help attracting a healthy masculine man and creating a nourishing and sustainable hot connection on every level, then I help women do that in my 90 day 1 to 1 intensive. In that intensive, we actually date with this energy flow in the forefront. I have back engineered all my teachings from the result which is sacred union. In the intensive, we work on dating smart and sorting through men for healthy masculine men that are ready for a deep connection with a feminine woman like you. We heal any blocks or past hurts that come up in the dating journey. As you start to date men that are very different from the kind of men you've likely been dating, it will bring up worthiness issues and past wounds and we will heal that. It's so great because it's going to clear out all the things that block sacred union. And finally, we work on understanding men and the masculine energy so that you can create a powerful partnership that lasts. My clients meet their match in an average of 3 to 6 months at a rate of 1 to 2 dates per week. 
This means you could still be waking up next to your person in 2022. Send me a PM if you're ready to meet your soulmate in the next 3 to 6 months. I will respond back with a few questions to feel into if we're fit to work together and if so, we can get started right away.